and we are back on court two for the men's for the All men's right. open singles quarterfinals. On uh, we were having a quick discussion about All right, the rules. Ladies and gentlemen, before, we have the men's open um, singles quarterfinals. Conor McElduff Conor and McElduff, number one Irish European tour. All of it. We'll be serving first. So Connor and Vlad, Against Vlad Klim, they Vlad contested Klim. the World Championship Finals in 2018, meeting here Former in the quarterfinal this time around. Connor dominated that game that day. 21, um, 21, 11. Good luck, gentlemen. Yeah, the, uh, Klim had a good win over Ben Devlin yesterday Bravo. in straight games. I think, the, I think the wrong score was posted on that one. It said that Devlin won on, on the app, but but Vlad actually won that one, so he's, he's, yeah. a he's a tricky player, very experienced. Tricky, tricky player, Ben tried to zero, use his power zero. over power, but gotta say, Vlad was really, really intelligent in his play. So, Connor, Point. I was taught, I had I was taught, I had a good long chat with Vlad Hold yesterday it. as uh, Connor picks up the first point there, um, and Vlad was saying that he had three, three surgeries on his shoulder to rehab One it from zero. previous injuries. Hold it. Thank and you, um, he was he said One that um, serving zero. since then he is in a, he's a totally different he's a different mindset about the way he's playing Side and stuff out. like that. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, sit, to seeing him here now because I saw him in, at the UK Open One he played re One. really well in London but that's Hold a shot it. that, that Connor hasn't been hitting well. Um, that yeah. hand error that he made there. One serving he, one. he made quite a few of that same error yesterday. When he gets in front of his opponent and he has loads of time, he, he, he seems you, to be just sort of yeah. caught in two minds and he's skipping those shots. That's a bad miss by Bad Fred. hand error, yeah. He tried to come over that ball Side very out. high. Um, but he makes two, a bad hand one. error, so he does. But Connor back in to serve at 2-1. Um, obviously... Big disappointment in the Irish team about train, Katrina having to pull out of her. It's, de it's devastating news, Chris. Yeah. Katrina suffered suffered That's a great shot by Glad. A serious looking knee injury. She came off for an injury timeout, tried to to continue, went back on, and the knee gave way again. Yeah. To see Katrina being, being carried out two, of, of the arena, two. horrendous. Like yeah, that. very very tough to watch. What a champion. What a pleasure to deal with from an immediate point oh, of view. she's so good. She's a wonderful ambassador for the game. That ball's out. I looked ball outside. Out. Yeah, uh, an ab absolutely devastating for 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 Katrina, and you know, obviously a worry coming into the four world world championships where she would have been strong favour for Three that too. Two. Well, uh, look, it opens maybe up we should we shouldn't be speculating, but but yeah, but the ball is you would hope that it's not an ACL injury. Hopefully, hopefully no. But Fingers said, crossed. You know, um, as. Three, There's a good game going on here on the other court between Timbo Gonzalez and Lourdes Iarista. That's Hold USA against the Basque Country. Yeah. Lourdes coming back a bit here in the second game. Oh, lovely shot. No, oh, was that there? Yeah. Look down, yeah. Hey guys. Guys. Wow. Come watch this game. So as Come watch our, this game. As our referee Come on. tries to control the play on court years. three, just kids mad to play at uh, every play. opportunity. But, we have um, three these serving three. Ends up being stray balls into the court and court two. So we see Vlad short. goes for a short, short ball. for a short serve hidden just inside the short line. Ball it out so let's figure this out, Chris. You watched Vlad Second yesterday. Serve. How would you describe Did. his style? Cerebral, intelligent. He he likes he's a real deep thinker about the game. So he uh, he's got great hands, two great hands, and he's a, he likes to That's stick a to a plan. Ben, he figured that Ben out quite early in the Four, first game, and he three. didn't change from the plan, pushing Ben from over to the left, targeting his left overhand, and then fly killing an awful lot. So that looks short. I have it as a point. He called the ball good. That looked short. short. That looked an inch or two short. You have a good ball. Three good balls. It's a point. That looked. They all thought it was good. Five, yeah, I didn't get a good look three. at it, to be honest. 5-3, an early lead for the American. Yeah, so Vlad, a tricky customer for Connor, even though Connor has a very good lifetime um, lifetime record over Vlad at the moment. Played Vlad on a number of European tour events. Four, um, serving five. He's very well conditioned, Vlad, because he's eligible for the over 40s grade, right? Point. He, I think he's about 36. 36 oh, sorry. Okay. Five, yeah, yeah. serving five. But like myself, he'll, he'll be soon on, on in the over 40s grade himself. 
Nice cut there by Vlad with that left hand. He's oh, got bad hand error. You'll see him use those cuts left and right. So, as I said, good, highly skilled player. Six serving five. Um, that, I mean, that painted McIlduff deep straight serve. Connor trying to scramble, not happy with the way he stroked that ball to the right, didn't get enough angle on it. Yeah, because he got the, what he wanted with a serve, which was to get the yeah. offensive opportunity, and he wasn't able to capitalise on it. Six, 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 six Hasn't really stepped into top gear yet in this championship, you'd say, Connor. Yeah, I think um, so. But I think he will up it when he gets to play the better players, but yeah. he's, got, he's got to negotiate these hurdles. Yeah, and, and yeah, yeah. That's no disrespect Second to, serve. to uh, Mo Manzi or, um, or Vlad. Vlad. Yeah, again, not an easy set of games for the early rounds for, for Connor here. Like, top one wallers. There's that straight pass again. And two players that play a lot of New York tournaments. Uh, Vlad doesn't live in New York City anymore. He lives out in Jersey. Um, but he's as, still do, as does uh, Willie Polanco, actually. Six, yeah. So, they, them boys are out of the city. But... That's nice a good shot. shot. Well got. Good pick from Vlad. Gotta win the rally though. That's a good shot. Good control from Connor. Do you know what? If we watch the replay here, Chris, Vlad actually f tracked it and was there, and yeah. then he could have probably got maybe, something. Maybe, maybe if he just made that dive, but he probably said it's yeah. even if he makes the dive, he, Eight, it's a low seven, percentage six. of returning to the water, yeah, and at that even, he's relying on Michael Duff to miss the set her. Yeah. Yeah, so like, like Connor in that is where Connor does Eight, most seven, of his damage six. when he has those sitters in front of him. He's very good at pushing you around from the middle of the court. And again, here we go to Hold it. That's a replay. Hold it was called. Yeah, this is so a slight variation on how the how the rules are implemented in America. Yeah, but then I, I think I that went, would have been okay. I, I, I went I went to um, have a, a chat with Jared. Um, I think most referees would give that um, as a you know you'd give the opportunity to the player. I know Connor when I was talking to him about the rules, he wants to be given as much opportunity as possible. But again, he's such a high percentage player. He keeps so many balls up on the wall. First Doesn't out, make those hand areas that six. go into the floor too often, you know, when he's really playing on his top top form. So, I said, we're at 9-6 here in the first game. On court one, Timbo Gonzalez is 15-12 up in the second game after winning the first yeah, against Lourdes he's, Arista. He's just keeping his nose in front against Lour. Lour was coming back, so he got it back to 12-10. Yeah. Lour is extremely well conditioned. Yeah. Oh, what's happening there? That actually hit Timbo on the way through. Yeah, maybe the referee had called it already. Yeah. It, uh, He's given a point. The scoreboard saying 17-12. Yeah. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. So we see on court one see the kids. an invasion of kids at right, every guys, opportunity. Yeah, you can see Max and Ronan Finnegan there. That's Michael Finnegan's yeah. sons, two stars of the future. They, we, hope, we hope, Kevin. They, uh, they're not worried about the referee giving out to them anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> the referee give we'll out, get give, <laughs> gives out to them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, Nine, yeah, six, nine six here. Connor's comfortable like enough. Comfortable play. enough. And we I was talking to. Nine, I went down just for six. a chat because it, I just wanted to get some clarification on what we were doing with the rules here because um, the New Yorkers obviously have a rule that. Oh, oh it's outside. So it's but yeah, they have a rule that if you move on the play, then it's a one hand down. So you get penalised if you're moving on. So it's a replay, but you get into serve, but you've only one serve. Exactly. Okay. Whereas. In Ireland, it's an interesting really ruler. I, I, I've be never honest, heard it before this week. Yeah, I think it's short. more of a more oh, of a if you if you're causing the stroke if you have if you should be Second standing serve. still and you move anyway, you know, um, or if you're given a, a big opportunity away, it does punish you. In in not in, in our in the rules that we've been playing, it do, we don't you don't really get punished if you just if you move on the play like you mm. know, so. Um, no, with these two players, they're Ten, not going to play that seven. rule. But again, it's more of an agreement on the players that. And then Connor disappointed with that yeah, one. Connor's just not looking 
is happy in the last couple of rallies. He is giving Vlad chances. Yeah. And, and Vlad has, has skip, skipped in a few kill attempts. Eight yeah. serving ten. Laura's right. back on court here on court one uh, at 13 17. He's, uh, he's an interesting uh, way of serving, Lur. Short ball. Plants his feet and just Flat. serves from the hips, which is a uh, stiff arm motion. Stiff arm motion. It's, uh, it's, hard. It's, joy. it's a good serve, but he's Second serve. such a quick player. Loves to slide around. Oh, that's a brilliant off. play by Timbo on that court. We've got to keep watching this yeah, court. Know, yeah. <laughs> Hold it. It's a screen. Screen serve. Jared Vale is, is a level five USHA referee, yeah. I heard him yeah. saying. He, so he told me yesterday as well, so and I was like, I don't know what that is, but it sounds impressive. It does. Yeah, it does. Jared oh, Vale with a big doubles match later on himself. Now, for playing. example, that, that's been a... Sorry to interrupt yeah. you, Chris. That's a replay there. As far as I could see, that was a legitimate block by Klim. We have yeah. eight, serving ten. Again, yeah, the referee referees in, in New York call for the smallest movement. Yeah. Maybe where short. we're a little bit more lenient. Second serve. And it's hard, look, hard to know who's right. Again, it's what you're used to. That's a good shot by Vlad. Connor disappointed about the way he's setting him up, leaving this that would, ball in front of him. This would be Nine. an absolute Serving sensation ten. if if somehow Michael Duff was to lose and Katrina Casey yeah. out of the tournament through an injury default. would be a huge ball. opening on the top half of the draw. I know as Luke Thompson and Second, Naz would be very intrigued if that were to happen. Let's see. Down the line serve. That's a good pick from Connor. Connor moving well ah, now. Brilliant retrieval. That's unbelievable. And you that's the type of the, that's the type of retrieving that Connor really gets him fired up. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't just get his hand to it, he placed it back on the line. Well, his yeah. his favourite shot, that straight pass. Yeah. Nobody does it better. Now he's Flight. leaving those fly attempts up, uh, fly kill attempts a little bit high up. That's nah, a that's good shot. shot. That's a great pick by Vlad. That's, that's an opportunity. Michael Love took about three steps in that entire rally by running Va Vlad around the court. He's got great control from the front wall in. Like from that short line in, he is absolutely masterful. Just moves you front, um, front, back, left and right uh, at will as Vlad goes back to retrieve. It's, it's interesting. Connor doesn't go for many low hard serves. No. Oh, very, few, very, very rarely. Yeah, his entire game is constructed on, on a, a straight deep serve and, and then try and fly the return. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's fly the return, but it's also flying nine, you, making you move short uh, sideline to sideline. He wants you to go left and right and just pop it back up to him. Yeah. Because he's so controlled in there. He's got such great control on moving you left and right. Um, Timbo Gonzalez took down Lerzarista there two, in two games, 21-16 in the second game. Um, That's a good win because Lur's been playing well. Yeah, Lur, Lur looked very strong there yesterday against Paul Donnelly. Um, but the seeds are holding out here in the men's division so far. Um, Connor McEldoff with a 13 to nine lead. Um, lots of action on here today. We've got a lot of doubles later on as well, Paul. Um, things really hotting up as we get into the real battles of the championship this yeah, week. Yeah, for sure. Um, Fiona Tully in the in the ladies' open. She's through to the semis, but she was forced pushed all the way by, off, by tough. Ethan McCarthy. Yeah, I so did an interview with Fiona. We might be able to play that later on, just oh, after her right. game there. And, and you know, she was relieved to get through it, but she said that she feels that she's got used to the courts now and that she's going to improve. Yeah, and do you know what? The she's so she's she's got great lateral movement. She just the few things she has to shore up. When she was she was dominating the game against Eva, and then Eva just went in, changed up her game, the way she was playing the game. You know, she was she went with an over uh, an underhand fist serve, and caused e Fiona all sorts of trouble. But Fiona's footwork and her movement is elite, and that that got her out of trouble. Oh, a lot. for sure, Fiona Tully is a brilliant athlete. So she's one of the best athletes playing handball at the moment. And of course, a, a, a county footballer, a ladies footballer, will be coming as well. Um, Megan McCann, who was watching her play um, on court one as well against Martina McMahon, another senior footballer from Armagh. Um, Martina took her down in two. Again, what was the scores there, Chris? Was Martina looking good? 
it was I think it was double digits in both but um, again I can't remember it but it was Aoife, Aoife and Fiona were on court okay, two guys, at the time you have so the ball. resuming play between guys between games I was watching some of that but we have so we get back to the play here nine. our referee Jared Vale calls the score at 13 serving nine it's a good whip from from Vlad off his left hand oh, that's the shot it. again yeah. it's it's, a, it's it's a head scratcher that he's missing that shot. That's, that's bread and butter for him. Yeah, yeah. But that's it's, it's it's just 10, it's a little 13. bit of tension nerves there, I think. Yeah, I do. It's, he was doing this yesterday as well. It's that exact same shot, and he missed a couple of those in Kilgallis. So it's pro it's definitely Four something short. that's more in his head than anything because the stroke isn't that bad. No, it's an easy it's an easy shot for a player of his ability. Second serve. So he just <coughs> probably has to maybe instead of place it, go through the ball a bit and hit the ball a little bit harder. You know, maybe just force force it up on the wall instead of yeah, just yeah. try to drop it in. Because the control is there on, mo on most of the shots. It's, so it's not like 14, he's, he, he is, he's hitting good he's control. Hitting the ball yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's unusual for a player that is clearly has his eye in and is hitting the ball well to be, to be substandard on one particular one stroke. One particular stroke, 15, yeah, it's very strange. 10. And he's actually not stroking the ball that bad. He's just leaving it short, which is very strange for him. Of all the things he doesn't do, is generally leave it short. Oh, oh, that looks nasty. Car what runs into Vlad into his shoulder. Oh, that was a long Digs side. it up. You okay? Oh, oh, he felt <laughs> that. That was sore. He felt that. Was it a long side? He looked like he was just behind the play. Point Vlad. Yeah. Huh? Mm, that's that's a dodgy no, one. A, yeah. We might see the replay of it here, Chris. Look. So when so he goes into dive, I. Is he? I think he's oh. more behind him. Ah, yeah, that's a replay all day. Has to be a replay. Has to be a replay. That's. I wouldn't agree with that decision. Yeah, I don't know. That's. I think that's. I, like, I, like Vlad didn't do anything. No, wrong. no. He, he's just. He's just where he's coming from is more from behind, than. When you can see, can you consider some of the replays that we've seen given? I <laughs> it's, 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 that's the other side of it. Yeah. That, yeah, Connor got a, a got a belt side. in the jaw there. That, that was quite dangerous because. You're both yeah. even on the wall. I don't but agree with that, but it's 15 10. Connor, Connor just puts in the back of his mind there. Warming up on, on court one at the moment is the, is the golden child, no. Taiwan Cook. It's okay. Yeah, Taiwan is we have 11, very 15. interesting character. I've had him up here on the commentary twice, and he's a great speaker of the game. You know, he really, really spoke well about Point. why he's so enamored by the amount of kids that are playing here. And Hold really it. really feels that. There's a 12, real strong serving, nucleus of handball in Ireland that could potentially dominate in a couple of years' time. Yeah, it's interesting, but... Oh, great serve, great serve. Oh, he's oh, unlucky there. He's unlucky. Vlad? You know, I, I was thinking, I wonder, is it something that, that huh. the authorities might consider as running a separate World Championships for juveniles? Yeah. I it's, think it's very busy here today. There's kids hitting balls off every wall, everywhere you look. 13, Absolutely. 15. I think, I think that, that would make a massive difference to the sport as well because look kids want to play 13, and if they were here 15. just as spectators they'd learn probably so much more yeah because like everyone you concentrate on on your own games that's what a great shot. shot that's more like great it. shot that gets the crowd behind connor he kind of sits into it and he absolutely it, lets fly he rotated through the hips on that one uh, left side arm beautiful that's stroke. right that's where he wants 16 13. You know he's got beautiful technique <coughs> I think if he if he primarily played forty by twenty, he'd be a leading player. Ah, oh, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, sometimes he adapts some of his wombo shots to the forty by twenty, yeah. and they don't work as 14, much. Fourteen, sixteen. Got to say, he's a top top player in in forty by twenty as well. He could. He pops up at the Mick Care, ball. which is a, a tournament in honor of his granddad. Yeah, and he he generally Second does very serve. well in that. He give gives Jeremy Nash a good game in a couple of years ago as well. Yeah. And he plays the All Ireland like he was. Of course, he was in the last stages of the All Ireland this year. He was. He was in the quarterfinal. He made the quarterfinals the senior championship. The year before that, he got he got a bye in the quarterfinal uh, injury. I think it was maybe Dominic Lynch pulled out injury. Right, so he was yeah. actually in the semi. So right. I'm 17, doing him a disservice 14. there saying. <laughs> yeah, he is a brilliant forward. And, and he's an intermediate 60 by 30 player. He won the junior championship two years ago. So, you know, he's a very adaptable. He's a handballer. He's not just one coach, and that's what we have to maybe go. Like you see the Irish 18, players, we've been very 14. quick to put ourselves in boxes. Now, a player like Connor, he's a top player in all coats. Little head so fake there. We'll see the great. replay of this one, hopefully. Yeah, he... Just the slightest little head fake. Got it. We got uh, one. Uh, so he kept yeah. his eyes on the wall, opened out his right 19, hand, pushed it down 14. the right. 
1914, and this this to me is a. It's not vintage, Connor. I was going to say it's, it's seven out of ten tops. Six. Yeah. Oh, look That's at a that. great shot. But he has moments. Nice. And those moments are there. He he just shows that he's got some. He's making a fool out of me there. Yeah. He, that's a <laughs> he brilliant really, shot. He's been, he knows that you, you want to do an impression at any point. moment. No, so. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> if you want to see the impression, you you got to Go look online. back on last year's, uh, last, or yesterday's stream. He shared it yesterday, so. Oh, oh. It's, oof. Side out. A 2015 in rally scoring is a hell of a lead. Yeah, big time. You know, you, know, yeah. do you, you only 15, have to win one 20. rally, whereas you could potentially win four or five rallies in ordinary scoring and game exactly. ball and not score. And, I've, and to be honest, mm. that serve was on the line, was it? Looked like he was on the line. It wasn't called by George Miller, our line but judge there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Love to have a conference back at Swinford about George's uh, <laughs> performance on the line. On the line. Stewart's inquiry. <laughs> we have replay. We have 15, Keen Dunning 20. is warming up with, with Luke Thompson there. Keen Dunning's an Irish star Keen, of the future. Big star of the future. Ireland's minor champion this year. Okay, so Vlad picks it up and he, Vlad's only five points away from taking this first game himself. 16, he's not out of the, he's, go, he's got to win five, five rallies. Michael Duff's yeah. got to win one rally. I make Michael Duff long odds on favour. Yes. But if, if but that's a good serve. If Vlad wins a rally or two, ah, Ooh, there it is. That's it. But he, 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 had to, he had to go for it. Yeah, he had to go for it. The Bob was there. Right. Connor shakes his head because he's not completely convinced by that performance, but we're going to take two minutes. We'll be get back with game two.
Okay. Okay, and we are back on court two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got your back, man. <laughs> we, uh, All right, gentlemen. Cor Connor McEldove having Resuming a chat with play. Game George number Miller two on the li on the short line, still querying that call. Vlad Klim um, will be serving. Connor McEldove, the, 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 the captain of the Irish zero, team. Zero serving zero in the score file. Picked Hold up it. the first oh, game, twenty one sixteen. My guy. So sorry, guys. <laughs> Vlad zero, Klim zero. serve in this second second game. Vlad, and an experienced one waller from New York. I think the year I met him in 2009 was the year he got his um, A card. How does that work, Chris? So it's, it's a, is there an actual card? They give you an actual card, yeah. Who decides, one, who zero. decides that? So they, I think it's the, I don't know if it's the ICHA that gives them out or if it's a very, you know, maybe a subgroup of the U USHA in New York. Point. But um, basically, if you, okay. they, to get it, you have to dominate a bunch of B tournaments. Okay. So, so it's our god. So even you see Cesar Ayala, who's Two in the zero. A semi-final, um, he's he hasn't got his A card yet, and he won the B in Valencia. He beat Jack Turley in in convincingly in that tournament. Um, he's in the A semi-final here, and he hasn't got his A card in in New York yet. So. Just shows what talent he is and yeah. what talent they've got. When I interviewed Luke Thompson yes yesterday, he made the point. Hold. Ah, ah it's so inconsistent. Know. It's very inconsistent. You did a move. There, there was more <laughs> move. There was more movement a moment ago. Right, yeah. and, and, he did, and there was no replay. Uh, I, I don't like, agree with the re with the referee here. I just think that he could let that play develop. Like that's Connor disappointed in that one. But, um, you were saying about Luke Thompson. Yeah, Luke. Luke made the point that. The thing with New York is one three. It's the depth. Yes. He was saying they've so many good players. Yes. Like like, there's brilliant players in, in Ireland. Look at that. Oh, That's a great shot. Go on. Oh. oh. I have that ball was long. I didn't see it. He called it long. We're going to see the replay of this, Chris. Look at this. Got it long. Oh, oh, did you see it? It's actually a couple of inches in. You thought the ball was good. It's going to be a dead ball. We're going to replay it. That's an outrageous. Yeah. We're going to play it with two serves shot. though, since we don't know. We Two serves, lad. Replay actually hit between the white line and the orange line. That's so. it. That's one for the for the uh, nice hop on that. That's one for the uh, highlight reel on TG Car yeah, next Monday night. You just have to do it out of context because it was a replay. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, anything. yeah. It's just a pity that he didn't actually play, yeah, yeah. play out the rally and win. Four one. Four well, Connor McIlduff is full of tricks. That is for sure. And well, I've just seen one rally of Taiwan Cook here, and I think that entire rally is better than I saw from him yesterday. Yeah. He served it to the long line, he stepped in, he, he spiked it. Five, serving one. Of course, he's a team kill shot athlete as well. He's a team kill shot, and I think he's picked up an Adidas contract as well. So he All the big brands. That's it. <laughs> Six, serving one. Yeah. Premium brands coming out of his ear, so he does. Oh, that's a good shot from Vlad. Oh, that was a good shot. It had to be killed. It had to be killed because Connor was there. Taiwan with a wonderful shot over on court one. On court three, we've got looks like two serving six. It's a Masters game, I think. I think so. Kieran Burke and uh, short James Dunley on court three. Second serve. Yeah. So anyway, Luke was making the point. Yes. That. The depth of field. There's some, there's some brilliant oh. players in Ireland. There's some, obviously he's, a, he didn't say it himself, Connor, but he's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant player in England. Yeah. And you've also got Blackaby and Grant. Lowick um, and Lerr. Right. Lo yeah, in Europe yeah. you've got, and you've got several good play, uh, Dutch players. Yeah, yeah. Who, who don't attend all the events, but when we were up in, in, in Friesland for the Dutch Open, ah. there was four or five guys come out of nowhere and they were brilliant. Yeah, they were brilliant. A lot, they're really, um, High level athletes with, with their own sport of cats and yes, up, up the freeze. Right. But he, he said, So you've got those players. Connor, hand error. But in New York, it's just the depth. Like yeah. in New York, you've got hundreds of really, really good players. Well, and they, yeah, and, that, and that's hopefully where you want to see this sport going in Ireland. That the likes Three, of Connor has six. a harder, deeper draw going to a senior championship. So when he comes here, he has, he's kind of ca he's cast in iron with the championship at home. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, that's great oh, for work. He just puts it out. He's getting a little bit annoyed there. Um, 
Time out. The problem. Coming back. Uh, it's not a problem, but, but an impediment to that happening in Ireland is that we've got so many other codes. Yes. And we cherish them all. Um, love them all. We do. We Big love them time. all. And you and I play all three. Uh, well, I don't play hardball. I don't know if you do you play the I, hardball. I, yeah. I, well, I've, I've, I got to the minor final in the hardball against uh, against. James we got the time out on there, Joe? A long time ago. Okay. It's a long time out of hardball now. Yeah, I played it once, um, but it's not my, it's not the code I like. But we do cherish all our, all our codes. But if you can imagine, if we only had one code, yes, you know you'd have. Oh, the, look, you look at all the brilliant right handballers. Like you're talking about the likes of Robbie McCarthy, Jeremy Nash, yes. Martin McCairns. Yeah. Uh, now Martin we're McCairns does play wall ball when he's when he's when uh, at home. If like. he was here, he'd probably be playing. Yeah, about ten yeah. seconds, guys. There's a lot seconds. of very good players. You take the likes of Gap and Buggy. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant, big alley player. Um, he loves one. <laughs> <laughs> if they were all playing the one code, but I, he, it's a it's a love hate it's a love hate relationship with Gavin. He'll be here later on, and he'll be, and then tomorrow he'll be giving out about. Well, there's no on the stream telling everyone how they loves Wolverine. Resuming play. <laughs> there's no better handball advocate. The score he is, is. He will go all over the four country. Four serve six. To, uh, to, to referee games. The guy handed to Gavin. He's and, great. And he does a lot of sport. coaching as well. Big as well time. as competing himself. Hold it. Oh. He just jumped up. I don't know. Yeah, I d again. It's hard to be a referee. You got two it's serves, tough. four and six. At least, look. At one thing. Hold it. We have to. Ball's coming at your feet. One thing. One thing that we have to um, remember is that it's re appeals are supposed to be on line calls. That that hasn't been the most consistent Four, rule serving that's six. been brought, brought mm -hmm. in here. You know, so. But if you're going to get that, the nature of the beast is that yes. you're drawing referees from the playing populace, loser refs type thing. Not for the open games, but you are going to get a little bit of a variation, variation yeah. in interpretation. Board. Seven, serving four. Seven, and four. hopefully as the sport develops, we can be a little bit more unified on the rules, you know. It's no. a big spike. Oh, look at that. Connor, look at that. That was a brilliant shot because he's really on the back foot there. Vlad actually didn't hear a bad shot because he's, it's into the body. He's on Eight, the back serving foot. serving four. Connor is such great control. The golden child is losing on court one, 12-11. Yeah, Julio Carlos actually had a win over Taiwan a couple of weeks ago and looked really impressive against Fierke yesterday. Um, well, Fierke pushed him to a tiebreaker, right? Pushed him to a tiebreaker and Fierke played brilliant. Five, flat, serving eight, flat the ball in front of him. But once Julio got five, serving in eight. at the short line, he was devastating. Now, we're at five, serving eight, flag pin to serve. For the retrieval. Big retrieval. Connor, well, Connor tries to get in there. It's a good shot by Vlad, though. Just out of hand's reach. Excellent. Six. One eight. thing I'd say about Taiwan, his composure after during the match against Cormac Finn was, se it was second to none. Th th there's a huge move there's there. A move I mean, huge. that's completely inconsistent. He, he literally yeah. li lifted his foot and stepped to the right. Yeah. That's how is that not a replay? I just don't, I don't understand how he he called he called it on Connor. He didn't call on on nine Vlad six. There. It's, it's it's frustrating, but that's long. You've seen it in the same in the same game inconsistencies. That's a good Great shot by shot. Connor. That's a good call. Thank you, Vlad. Good sportsmanship by Vlad. He very Vlad is a very sporting guy. Um, has a lot of pride in yes. you know, being a good sportsman, and he's looking for a quick change of gloves. I think or some, or, or just looking for a white. There are My there are mops and floor wipes there. So Jared is taking his own towel to to wipe wipe the wipe. Vlad, the you got a headband? Yeah, put it on, please. As uh, the referee asks Vlad to stick on a headband, something that all players should have in the bag. As it is a as a rule, a referee could yeah. require you to stick on a headband, and it makes so much sense. Like. Sim it's a simple thing you think, but it, it's added so much to this tournament that we've got all these Americans. Ah, it's amazing. I, I like, and I have such a good time. And they were so. I've, no yeah. doubt, I can't, I can't say this. They were so good to me when I went to New York. 
I used to go and play a lot of handball when I was out there. Did you know Taiwan and those guys? I didn't know Taiwan, but I, I, I remember it being getting ran around the place by a very young table, Timbo at the time. I turned up in Central Park and I was waiting to play a lad called Saul Gonzalez. While I was waiting, this young lad goes, do you want to just tip around the play? And he, he was a monster. absolutely destroyed me. He was making me look pure stupid. And uh, that was Timbo Gonzalez embarrassing me. Um, this this guy Julio Carlos can, can oh, put a lot of speed on the real, ball. He's great footwork. He's great balance. An MMA fighter. Oh right. Yeah. So he he uh, he was an MMA fighter. He didn't he played a little bit of handball. Didn't take it too serious. And then about a year ago, he said to Timbo, "I might try and play a bit more handball." And he said that he's been playing Glad Timbo four or five times a week at like ten o'clock in the morning, five games a day. And uh, Could you yeah, he said go that. Go in my green bag and give me my headband. Yeah, we will, oh, we will pause. Like Just a quick play pause here. Play here Equipment but, yeah. change. Um, what? My head I have to say, it, you could I not come up with a better vantage point than what oh, we call here, Chris. It's perfect, isn't yeah. it? You can keep an eye on both courts. You can see all three courts. Yeah, it's great. You can see what's going around. You can see the crowd. There's a real. Whenever Connor turns up, you got to say there's a real crowd that turns up. What? Just yeah. the general interest. He loves that. He lo he like he's a real showman, anyway. Safety. We don't want any. Technical? Lures the reese to the referee on court <laughs> one. It's wet. This game in court <laughs> one is very close. All right, resuming play. So we're back in play here now. Connor McIlduff with a four point lead over Vlad Klim. Um, a New Yorker of Ukrainian or origin. An unbelievable shot here. on court one there. Just watching. That was a two minute equipment uh, change. Uh, straight pass cleaning. up the line with. All right, resume. Millimeter play. perfect by Carlos. Put your hand up oh. when you're ready, Vlad. This is a kill, though. This is a big kill. Back there. in here, it's 10 All right, six. set. We Sorry, have 10, Ken. serving right, six. Connor McElduff, the Bracky Club in County Tyrone. Of course, the the Bracky produced everything. both All Ireland champions last year, men and women. Absolutely. And they, and they won them in their home court, which was. Uh, 11, 6. Might never be done again. Might never, but. I'm sure Alicia and Connor would have something to say about that. It's a good pick. Go on. Oh. Good control from, from Vlad. It's easy to get a little bit over exuberant when the ball just pops up like that. The golden okay. child has moved 1916 up. Let me try it. It's wet. Yeah, so Vlad, ball's wet. Taiwan Cook yeah. sporting his kill shot gloves. No, seven, New York. eleven. Got, Taiwan's got all sorts of different colours and designs of kill shot gloves, but <laughs> he, he, he matches them with his outfits. I Joe, you gotta respect it. Connor went for the lob there. We used to have a rule at home in Cavan when we were playing one ball that if no matter what the score in the match was, if you lob someone, that's a great shot. You won the match. Yeah. Great shot by Connor. If you if you lob it over them. Uh, it was a local rule we yeah, had. Yeah. In training games. <laughs> You could be 20 nil down, but if, 12, you, if you lured him into the front and then lobbed him and, and got the shot in. Game over. Game over. I love Beautiful it. shot by Connor. He's found his range there. 12-7. 13-7. He's pulling clear. Desi Keegan would have loved that rule because he lobbed me a bunch of times when we were playing doubles. <laughs> as I tried to rush in to put pressure on Ali Cassidy. But anyway. What Connor. people might realise, Chris, is just... It looks like Vlad is making hand right here, but the pressure that he's put under. And he's always on the move. Yeah. See, Connor has one minute. barely uh, moved from that service zone, whereas Vlad is your first all over the shop to try back. and get things going. You're serving at 14-7. So at 14-7 up, Connor McElduff in complete control here. He, even though he would, he would say, and I know he would say that this isn't completely a vintage, but again, growing into the tournament shot by shot, you know, the mistakes we were talking about in the first game. Oh, it's a great pick. That is an outrage. It must be two. Yeah, this Was is going on a court one. Julio Carlos dived out to his right, managed to, managed to flick it back up with his left. Let's see what the line judge says. Taiwan slapped his hand, he congratulated him on the shot, but he says two, it's two bounces. Can I get somebody on the short line, please? One saw you Guys, we got 15 saw seconds. Can I get somebody? He found the short line. <laughs> you, know, you talk about truly international huh? handball tournaments no, here. He has to At leave. the He's moment, a court one, a court two. Anybody, 
You've got two Americans being refereed by a Basque. You've got an American and an Irish being refereed by an American. George. All right, let's go. Resuming play. We're at a minute. George Miller has to go. He's obviously playing. Yeah, sir. So he's been re replaced on the short line. A young Tipperary lad. I believe you. Resuming play, we have Here we are. 14 serving seven. This is a sizable lead. George Over. Miller's after getting in a bit of trouble there. He walks straight across the back of the court, the other side. Ball was and long. They're, they're having to wipe the floor. Second serve. He must have spilled something. <laughs> Uh, that's what that's what you get when you bring swim for people into the into the world championships. Yeah, it we're not made 15, for the big occasion, seven. are we? No. no. <laughs> Any time that produces Hardy books. Uh, this is it. Okay. And Ollie Cassidy, don't forget the famous Ollie Cassidy. Absolutely. The biggest star of the show. And Connor's comfortable now. Oh, that's ours. What was out? Help. Connor's playing. Connor He's picked it anyway. Now. Point. What has happened here, I think, Chris, is Vlad is feeling the, feeling the pace. He's very well conditioned, but. Connor's moved him around so 16, much. 16, yeah. 7. This is sort of like working to the body in a yes. fight. Yeah. To soften it up. It's it's money in the bank. Later on now, he's, he's yeah. looking to finish off the Again, fight. Again, you see, barely leaving the service zone for Connor McAdoff. Oh, that's a good shot. Just dropped it. Connor took that I step to the right. And Con and Vlad actually just flattened out his hand. Just palmed it in front of himself. Knowing that Connor took the bait and walked and going right. As we can see here, there's a there's second a, time out. There's a serve back, Vlad serving circle mark 16. on the floor, just in front of the short end, which yeah. is I think it's from the basketball lines or, or something like that here on yeah. the floor. It's a pity that circle wasn't an extra few feet back. I'm telling you, I was actually, he, was, he hasn't moved from that yeah, circle. Yeah, if it's that, that circle was was just just at the short line. Yeah, yeah, it would be actually a great training exercise as well. 100. Stay in the circle, try and cut the ball off. Yeah. Taiwan has won the first game here and he's, he's played really, really well. He's a different man than he was yesterday. Yeah, again, he's, um, I suppose, mate, he was caught a little cold yesterday morning against Cormac, Mackel, Cormac Finn. He was, and, and Cormac came out hot. He, Cormac came down, I, so I was here around 8 o'clock and Cormac was down here hitting shots with Mikey Kelly and Gavin Kelly around quarter past 8. And that game started at nine o'clock. He was ready to go, and he was electric. Gotta say, there's barely a player that would have been able to keep up with him. every opportunity. And Stone Cold rolled. Yeah. Oh, it was amazing. Like, there's not much you can do if your opponent is just hitting low percentage shots and, and converting them. I was over there with the with the t at the uh, Sports Mobile Elite Recovery Clinic earlier. Yes, yeah. give them a shout out. Like, oh, they're unbelievable. Yeah, got a great role. They have been flat out. I'd say their hands are going to be sore now by the end of this week. Yeah. They've been doing serious All right, here work we go. on the robot. So we're got back on. Absolute agony, Resuming play. Feel much better for it now. We have 16 it was agony serving at the time. eight. The Hold it. Feel much better now. Thank you. Resuming okay. play, we have eight serving 16. This is... Connor's actually improved his performance. His yeah, he's played well the second yeah, game. The second game, he's been good enough. Ball is short. And I think Vlad has dipped, but I'm putting that down to just pressure. a little bit of fatigue. Yeah, yeah and pressure. Definitely, definitely Second serve. improved significantly. Okay, Vlad Klim serves deep to Connor's left hand. Connor gets a pick on it. One. That's oh, all. he's got a hand on it. He's just a little bit short. We see Bernie Bolt, Hennessy, former senior 6 16 champion in the women's division in Ireland taking photos on the right side there. Yeah, she's yeah. a great, great handballer. Yeah, yeah, and a very good photographer. Fantastic photographer. Oh, oh, what's that? Why is what is going on there? The ball was good to the wall. Shot, yeah. yeah, I don't. Th I think he thought it wasn't going to make it. Oh, it just popped oh, up. A bad and he just, uh, We've it's, all done it. Oh, it's, it's, you know, it's a heartbreaker one. one. Yeah. It only happens when you're under severe pressure, though. I did it once in a final at game ball and lost the match. No way. Yeah. Because when you have too much time, yeah. When you're, I think when you're playing your best handball, you're in the groove and you're not thinking. Yeah. And suddenly when you're you're presented with an opportunity and you have three or four seconds to think about it, it just throws you out of your groove. You, but you see, with these open players, Ten, these senior 17. players, they very rarely miss opportunities like that. They, so it just so shows Ball the pressure short. that Connor has Vlad under at the moment. Um, Connor only four Second points serve. away from. Making the semi-finals here, and I think 
Hopefully he doesn't switch off himself now. He wants to doesn't want to give Vlad any ammunition. It's Eleven, seventeen. It's a crack game on court one. one. It's uh, it's hard to concentrate on court two when you see Taiwan do stuff like that. Taiwan Cook has had has had a poor year by his standards. Yeah. He's, he's had injuries and he hasn't won any titles in America this year. But okay. you know you can see what all the fuss is about now though. Oh, he's just, playing yeah. out outrageous stuff. If anyone wants to watch that. They can tune onto the onto the other stream, the court one stream on, on uh, 18, TG 11. So, yeah, so Taiwan Cook won the World War Bowl Championship when it was last held here in 2012. He was the Open champion that year. Playing He's that again. to reclaim his, his throne okay? again. Conor right. McIlduff, the 2018 champion. Jared Vale making Conor laugh. Two stars. There. 18, 11. Right, he's, he's, he's a charismatic though. character too, Bill. Nice, ah, he's, he's good crack. He's a tough match now later on in the double, so he does. Jared, he plays Shane Herity and Chris Gavigan. Yeah, those lads are good. 19, <laughs> 11. So the, the, the fighting pride of Mayo. This is it. Okay, Conor McIlduff. That's a good shot. Conor doesn't miss those though. And we are at game point in game number two. Conor McIlduff against Match Vlad point, Klim. plays 11. Conor McIlduff a point away from making the semi-final. It's an opportunity, he puts it outside. Ball's out. Side out. He's frustrated with himself, but in fairness to Conor, he can compose himself very quickly. We have 12 playing 20. Vlad Klim has to score nine points to concede nothing to to win this game. Connor with a big pick to the left. Vlad Goes puts it out. out to the right. Great that match, is, gentlemen. That is it. That is it for this game. We'll be back in a couple of minutes with the next quarterfinal. Connor McAdoff through to the World Championship semi-final.